beautiful souls, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So happy to have you here. So today's picky card, we're gonna look at what they find attractive about you. So I have three groups here, as you can see. I found, I actually found another rose quartz. So we have this raw rose quartz. Uh, group number two, you guys are the mystery stone again. This is some sort of like green and blue stone. If you guys are familiar with crystals and stones, please feel free to let me know what this is in the comments. I don't know what it is, but it's like really pretty. I have my light turned down, so it's, I can't really see it all that well. I might have to turn it up. And then we have, uh, green aventurine here for group number three which is the stone of truth and I will use the astrology dice to get extra confirmation whether this is your whatever pile you choose is your pile um, based on your zodiac or your person's and if you are not familiar with what your zodiac is I will put uh, a link to a birth chart in the description box. So just take a moment to pause. If you are drawn to more than one crystal or timestamp or whatever, feel free to choose more than one. If you're really motivated, you can watch all three groups and then decide. Okay, so I will see you guys at your reading. Hey, group number one, if you chose this pretty raw rose quartz, this is your reading. So let's jump into the oracles first. Oh, wait, nope. I said zodiac, didn't I? Okay, let me just grab my zodiac dice. Okay, I got our dice. So we'll just put these to the side. We'll roll the dice and see what comes up. Okay, so we have Taurus. Uh, we have Aries. Hold on. I'm in, yeah, I think I'm going to have to adjust this brightness here. There we go. We have second house, which is also ruled by Taurus. We have the fourth house, which is ruled by Cancer. So you or your person may have Taurus or Aries in the second or fourth house. And we also have Jupiter, which is the planet of luck and expansion. Uh, Jupiter is ruled by Sagittarius. So you guys may also have Jupiter in your second or fourth house or Jupiter in Aries or Taurus. Okay. So let's jump into our oracles and see what we have. We have share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution and expression, star keeper, cosmic ancestor, see the light by staying grounded. Okay, pioneer, the light attribute. Ugh, I can't even see this font. Passion for doing and creating what has not been done before, and the shadow is compulsive, need to keep moving on. So, this may be one of your archetypes. It may also be your person's if you're like, hey, that doesn't sound like me, but that sounds like my person. Uh, take that message as it resonates. We have a higher power, number four. So the number four might be significant for you guys because we have uh, four here in our dice and then we have four on the card and the Jupiter symbol looks like a four to me. We have number six, contract and commitment. Okay. So what your person finds attractive is you are not afraid to share your voice 
um, you are very dedicated to whatever you're passionate about and very focused. And I see that they see you as a spiritual person with this higher power, like they see you connected to your higher self. I also see that you see the good in others and you're the type of person that wants things balanced and fair for everybody involved in a situation. They see you as very loving and compassionate. You're not, uh, you're not the type of person that's greedy or selfish here with this contract. And I also see that they find it attractive that you're very, uh, a very loyal soul. And what stands out here to me is that you're like, you're not the type of per. how do I say this? You're like the, the, the marrying kind, the settling down, like somebody that they would want to settle down with. Um, they find you, they find that attractive about you, that you want stability in your life and commitment and you value your connections and contracts and commitment. So once you have your sight set on somebody, you might not be the type of person that's gonna stray from them. You're very loyal and compassionate and you stand your ground. You're not, you're not afraid to stand up for what is right. Let's see if we have any. Yeah, those are the main messages I'm getting. I also get with this uh, contract card, her her eyes are blind, can't talk, blindfolded. So I feel like you guys are very in tune with your intuition. You follow your heart, you follow your gut instincts. And they also find that attractive about you because we also have a higher power here again. So not only are you spiritual, you you don't follow what everybody else is saying. You follow your own intuition. And you're not afraid if people like it or not. That's just who you are. And you're very confident about that. And your person finds this very attractive. So let's jump into our tarot and get some more messages. You also may be the type of person that everybody goes to for advice with the share your voice and expression. So if somebody is not comfortable speaking out about something, they may come to you. And you may be the type of person that will speak up when something is, isn't fair. Now you guys may be like some sort of counselor or therapist or just like somebody that people feel comfortable opening up to. Oh, I had one fly out here. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. I'm just gonna pull over, pull all of our tarot first and then we'll dive into the messages. Okay. This commitment card, um, another message that I'm getting, which is interesting, uh, take it if it resonates. Some of you may already be married or your person is married, which is, 
strange, but like, I don't know why that's suddenly coming out, but it's coming out. So take it if it resonates. the Hierophant, which is also like commitment, energy, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, the High Priestess, and Ace of Cups. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. So, kings and queens coming out. Uh, now, there's... You may be feminine or masculine or non-binary. Non Watching this, it doesn't matter. I'm just taking the, the energies. Okay, so... Yeah, you're not afraid to set boundaries and stick up for what is right with that Queen of Swords. And again, with the high priestess, that intuition coming through. So you guys are very fiery and passionate and you're not afraid to speak your truth. Even if it's not like popular or accepted. Um, you guys aren't afraid to stand up for what you are passionate and driven about. And you're the type of person that... Uh, it's very dedicated and committed to your goals and your growth, your personal growth, your life, everything involved in your life. I feel like you guys are very passionate about everything you do. I'm not just getting like specific topics here. I'm getting like, you're just passionate about life in general. You. You see the beauty in everything around you and your person finds this inspiring and attractive. They find you attractive on a deep soul level, not just physically. You care about yourself and you also care about others with this Ace of Cups. You're definitely not a selfish person. Sometimes the Queen of Swords can be like a harsh energy. Um, but with the, the King of Cups coming through and the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups and the High Priestess, I see this as a very balanced, healthy energy. This is somebody that's Again, not afraid to set boundaries. So, but you're not like, if you get pushed <laughs> to tell somebody to F off, I feel like you will, but that's not your true nature. You're like, kind of like that balanced Libra energy. I know we don't have like Libra in those dice, but I am getting like a, we did have that contract and she's holding the scales, which is like Libra. So you like everything to be fair, but when pushed, um, that Aries fire will come out. And the Hierophant is also a Taurus energy as well. Let's get a couple more messages because I feel like there might be a little more that maybe we're not seeing. I will get some messages, but I feel like this is really short. Maybe your person's just to the point here. Anything else we need to know that group one's person finds attractive? Okay, we have the Ten of Swords and the Chariot, which is Cancer energy. Okay, yeah, so any pain you've had.
had in the past, you don't let that stop you. You keep moving forward. I see you guys as like the positive type or, and not in a toxic way, um, but you guys feel like warm, like sunshine. Um, so you guys take your pain. Whatever pain has happened in the past, I feel like you use that pain as some sort of motivation to keep going. Like that king, king of pentacles here is also related to personal growth. So you use whatever has happened, whatever pain in the past, it doesn't stop you. It actually drives you and you use that to motivate yourself and motivate others. Yeah, you're definitely not a selfish, greedy, um, self-serving group here. You guys are very loving, nurturing. You care about others, and this is very attractive to your person. Okay, so let's... Uh, what messages do we want to get? I think we want to get the other messages. Okay, messages from your person before we close out. So you may, uh, your person has maybe already told you this. Maybe you know this about, that they find this attractive about you already. And there's really not much more to say. I've been looking into spirituality for healing and self-discovery, so you may have inspired this person to do some sort of healing on their own. I feel like you have a healing presence about you, so you may have helped heal your person from their pain and inspired them to keep moving forward. It's easier to stay away than get my heart broken. So that broken heart is like the ten of ten of swords here. What if you don't accept who I truly am? Will you ever be able to trust me again? So what I am getting from these messages is that your person may not have been shown a lot of unconditional love in the past and I feel like you give that to them and there's still a part of them that's not sure how to uh, like it, it feels it feels awkward to them and they may in the past have found it easier to just to shut down rather than opening up and getting their heart broken, but I feel like you're showing them a whole new side to life and love. And this is helping them to open up and move forward and look into healing on a deeper level. But this trust... I'm going to pull a clarifier for that one. That one's kind of interesting. Will you ever be able to trust me again? Maybe they you they hurt you in the past, but this hasn't stopped you. You kept moving forward, and it hasn't brought you down at all. You're still, like, warm sunshine. <laughs> so if you know this person has hurt you in the past, then this may be confirmation. But let's see what this trust is about. Eight 
Eight of Pentacles. Let's get one more. And Strength, which is Leo, ruled by the Sun. Okay, so... What I am getting is that this is some sort of fear that's coming up. Now, either something happened between the two of you in the past, or this is just their own fears. Like, maybe they feel like they're not good enough or, like, worthy of your trust for whatever reason here. But I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles and the Strength, this is somebody who's trying to stay strong as they move forward and they're trying to put on like a brave face like they're not scared that you're not going to trust them for whatever reason I feel like it's like um You're such a loving presence and a warm presence in their life that, like I said, they might not be used to uh, that level of compassion and unconditional love. Maybe, again, they're not, they're just not used to it. It feels awkward to them. So I feel like they just need to open up and get used to this. So this is all I have for you, group number one. Your person is definitely attracted to your warmth, uh, your the beauty of your soul, your nature, your ability to unconditionally love another person, even if it's not romantic. It's just like I'm, you're just a loving, warm person, and you inspire others to see the beauty in all in all things. So I hope you enjoyed this. If it resonated, be sure to give it a like or comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Welcome group number two. So if you chose this pretty green and blue mystery stone, <laughs> this is your group. So we're just going to move these guys to the side and get your dice and see what signs and houses come out. Now, this may be you or your person. Take what resonates. Maybe a bit of both. Okay, so we have Jupiter coming out. Jupiter is ruled by Sagittarius. It's the planet of luck and expansion. Uh, we have the third house. Is that three? Yes, it's three. The third house coming out, which is ruled by Gemini. We have Pisces coming out. Aquarius, so you guys may have like Jupiter, Pisces, or Aquarius in the third house. We also have the first house, which is also our uh, ascendant or rising sign. So you may have, you or your person may have those planets in one of those houses. And the first house, if you're into tropical astrology, which is like the newer astrology that is ruled by Aries. Okay, so let's jump into your oracles, and then we'll get into uh, the tarot for more messages. So we have obstacles. Number 37, third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. And that is solar plexus. We have number 39, new life.
We have Addict. I know this may not be a positive looking card, but this is, uh, don't, don't worry. <laughs> Light Attribute. Helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior. Shadow. Compromises integrity and honesty. Allows an addictive pattern to have authority over your spirit. Uh, now this may be you. It may be your person. Uh, don't worry. Um, I know it may have like a negative... Like when you hear the word addict, usually brings up negative thoughts, but don't worry about that. Uh, this is not, it's not like a judgment towards you. Surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy. Pleasure, joy, make love to life. You, um, you may also have like a Venus dominant chart. I know I have a Venus dominant uh, chart. So a lot of uh, Venus energy, the planet of love in your chart. You may also just be like the type of person that loves life. And we also have warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? Okay. So The main message that I am getting with this group, now this may resonate with some of you uh, or all of you, um, but you may have had some sort of um, addictive behaviors or tendencies or struggled with something of that nature in the past and over overcome it um now this doesn't necessarily mean just drugs or alcohol this could be like a sex addiction addiction uh work gambling whatever it is um what i see is that if your person has known you for a while and they know this about you because i feel like i'm getting the sense that your person would know this about you like this isn't something you would hide like you're you're pr you're proud of it uh because you overcame this challenge or obstacle in your life this um you overcame you faced your shadows when it came to this addiction and you transmuted that energy you worked you worked hard through that. And I feel like with that solar plexus shocker coming out, this took a lot of personal power, a lot of willpower to really um, face those addictions. But we have the, the new life here. It's like you're... You're not, you're not ashamed of this past. And I find that your person finds this really attractive that how, how strong you are, how much uh, personal power you have. And this group is making me teary. <laughs> I'm going to try not to cry. I'm feeling kind of sappy lately, <laughs> but, um, Yeah, they see you as a warrior. Almost like you're you're powerless or not not powerless. Uh there's nothing uh you have so much power you don't feel powerless. Like you're you're unstoppable. You just keep moving forward and you're not letting your past addictions bring you down. And I feel like you're using that possibly to help others. So you may be the type of person that's using, that's helping other people overcome and face their addictions. And your person is finding this attractive. <laughs> 
like very very attractive so i'm kind of getting like a somewhat similar vibe to group one so if you do resonate with this pile you might want to check out that group as well um but i feel like you facing your addictions and overcoming and learning to embrace who you truly are is really you have a new love for life with that Venus energy. You're seeing a whole new side of life and you do have warrior strength in you. Even though it says warrior woman, uh, you may be a man watching this. Doesn't matter. Just because it says woman doesn't mean you have to be a woman. Um, this is just warrior energy coming through. You are a warrior. You have a lot of strength in you. And your person sees this. They see how strong you are. And they may have seen other people struggle with the same um, challenges that weren't able to overcome those obstacles, but they see you. They're like, wow, if this person, if group two can do it, then you know, maybe they struggle with the same thing and they're like, hey, if group two can do it, maybe they can show me how to overcome this as well. You're very inspiring. You drew your strength from this and you move forward. You, yeah, I get like you completely transformed with that new life. Okay, what do we have here? King of Wands. I'm just going to draw all of our tarot and then we'll move forward. Now, as you guys can tell, I'm staying, I'm trying to stay away from anything um, 18, 18 plus related for this reading. And I feel like these aren't the messages coming through. Uh, we have three of wands. These are actually really sweet messages coming through so far. What your people find attractive about you. Nine of Cups, Page of Swords, and I will get messages from your person at the end, and if we need to clarify any messages, we'll clarify. Page of Cups, and Ace of Cups. Okay, a lot of, uh, a lot of emotions here. Just got that, uh song from her I carry in my head emotions okay oh and on the bottom of the deck we have the three of cups okay yeah your person sees you as somebody that just perseveres through uh, this challenge. You're like, they see you as some sort of uh, leader, like maybe you're some sort of motivational speaker when it comes to um, facing addictions. They see you as very passionate with helping other people overcome the same challenge so you may be like some sort of advocate for uh addiction fighting addictions battling addictions facing facing that sort of um challenge in life you're somebody who has learned how to truly love themselves inside and out 
your shadows and bring that to light. The Nine of Cups is about, it's like the ultimate self, self-love and it's also like wish fulfillments as well. So, and we have the Ace of Cups, which is also like a self-loving card. So you're somebody that chose to overcome your obstacles and because you chose yourself, you kept showing up for yourself and this is very attractive to your person. And I feel like if they, I kind of get the sense that they may not have told you this with that page of cups. This is like some sort of, uh, it's kind of like a flirty, childlike energy coming through, um, like some sort of small emotional offer. So I feel like it's possible your person hasn't uh, shared these thoughts with you yet. We have the page of swords as well, which is like, Somebody who's very curious. So I get the sense that they may be keeping an eye on you and it's not like in like a stalker type way. It's, I feel like they're admiring you from afar and they haven't told you what an inspiration you are to other people. And how proud of you they are. I feel like your person just likes to. Just finds joy in watching you. Uh, inspire others. And continue to grow. So let's get some messages from them. Now, if you, if you have felt judged by your person in the past, they may want to apologize for judging you from, because of this, your, your obstacles and your challenges. I am getting that message as well with that page of cups because the page of cups could be like an apology. So they might be too scared to face you to apologize for like, Hey, I'm sorry. I judged you. I'm sorry. I said this. Uh, you are a lot stronger than I gave you credit for. But I do like see some sort of apology coming through. Huh, look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry I lied to you. <laughs> okay, well, we are getting an apology, but what, what did they lie about? <laughs> Uh, I just need to be alone right now. I've been checking your social media. Yeah, see, they're keeping an eye on you. They might be too scared to approach you. Because if they have said something to you that, um was like a judgment or some sort of comment on your pain, your pain from the past and your challenges, they may feel, they may feel a lot of shame for the things they said. Imagining you with other people makes me jealous. And let's get one more. So we will pull a clarifier to see what they're sorry for. 
walking away from you was the hardest thing I've done. Hmm. Okay. So clearly they walked away if they if they didn't walk away and this person's just doing whatever. Uh take that message as it resonates, but some of you this person walked away. And maybe with a three of cups chose somebody else. And now they're regretting it. Okay, so I did say I was gonna clarify what they're sorry for. Where'd I put my oh, yeah, my card? My cards are here. Anyway, okay. So what is group two's person sorry for? Four of Wands and the Empress. Huh. Hmm. It's an interesting. Okay. Uh, well, that's interesting. And we did have, I lied to you. So did your person have another relationship on the side? Were they married? So four of wands is like a marriage commitment card. And then we have the, the empress here and this pregnant woman standing out. So maybe they had a family with somebody else and they lied to you. They were keeping that secret. I'm also getting another message here that they lied about wanting something more with you as well. Um, they may have said that in the past, like, oh, I'm, I don't want anything serious. And, but deep down, they actually did. They, so they lied about how deep their feelings for you are. I'm also getting that message, so take whatever storyline there where, uh, resonates for you. And on the back we have Seven of Pentacles, which is like a planting a seed. And it's also about like gratitude and patience as well. So I'm also getting like, this could represent pregnancy as well. Um, but yeah, take, take whatever message there resonates. So either your person had somebody else on the side, another commitment, possibly somebody with a child, and they weren't completely honest here with you, and they feel bad. I feel like that's a very specific message for some of you. Uh... But what I'm getting mainly is that they lied about how, they lied about their feelings and how deep they actually feel for you. Like they, they downplayed their feelings, like they didn't really care that much, but they, they do. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group three, if you chose this green adventuring, welcome to your reading. So before we check out the oracle cards, we are going to use the astrology dice. Got some signs and houses. Okay, so we have, what are you? You got one, I'm always confused. Capricorn. Uh, we have moon. So you have you or your person may have a moon in Capricorn. Uh, we have, what is this? What is this? Oh, this is the 11th house. So you may have moon or Capricorn in the 11th house. Oh, we have 11 again. 11, 11, that may resonate with some of you. Maybe that's like a... 
angel number, synchronicity. And we have Gemini, which is kind of like the, the two sign, right? So it's like, kind of reminds me of 11. <laughs> so you may have Gemini, Moon in the 11th house, uh, Capricorn in the 11th house. Uh, we have the 11, 11 and the twins. Maybe the twin flame journey resonates for you guys. Uh, take it as it resonates. Okay, so let's jump into your uh, oracles. We have spiritual journey. Number 47, the thinking woman. Now, just because it says woman doesn't mean you have to be a woman watching this. Um, you or your person may be a woman. Maybe you don't resonate with any gender. That's okay. We're just taking energies. We have number 18, serendipity. Ooh. Okay, maybe some of you guys like vampires. Uh, we have vampire, light attribute. Makes you aware of someone or something that is draining your life force. Shadow is depleting others for your psychic survival. Chronic complaining and codependency. I'm getting more, <laughs> more light attribute. I don't think your person's like, man, group three complains a lot. And that's, that's really sexy. And I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not getting that. <laughs> we have Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, Trust. And we have Soul Family, Call in Your Tribe, You Don't Have to Do It Alone. Okay, so we have Soul Family and we have Star Brothers here. Okay, so I am getting, I am definitely getting like a soul connection with your group so if you are not uh, vibing with like soul connections and that sort of thing then this probably isn't your reading you can check out one or two um, but yeah your person is feels a soul connection with you like they for and I feel like they don't they might not fully understand why they feel so connected to you, but um, they may see you on a spiritual journey and this inspires them. But I feel like that spiritual journey is them feeling a deep soul level connection. They feel like they've known you forever and I feel like they can just, they trust you. You're a loyal person and I feel like you also make them... Not only do they find you intelligent, like you're the type of person that likes to dig deeper, wants to know more. I feel like they also, they want to go deeper with you. They want to know more. They want to get to know you on a soul level. They want to like see into your soul. Now, <laughs> a message that I'm getting with this vampire is they may find you um, seductive. Like, you know how in those, like, some of the vampire movies, uh, like, not, like, not, <laughs> not necessarily Twilight, although <laughs> you guys may like Twilight, and that's okay. You know, I don't, I like Twilight, too, so. Um, but I'm getting, like, a seductive, sexy vampire type. Not, like, they're just drawn to you, and mesmerized and we are not going into an 18 plus today no we're not <laughs> but I also feel like I'm getting more light attribute with you guys like you you guys protect yourselves uh, you won't leak your energy to anyone that really doesn't deserve it like, you won't give your energy, you won't open your energy to any random stranger. So you guys may actually value intimacy. Like, truly value intimacy. Like, you won't be intimate 
uh, with somebody who doesn't match your energy. You won't exchange energies with somebody who doesn't, is not on the same level as you. And this is very attractive to your person as well. But I feel like you guys may have been seeing signs with that serendipity. That reminds me of that, that movie, Serendipity. So you may enjoy that movie as well. But there is something like synchronistic about this connection. And they feel it. And I feel like they're drawn to you and they may not know why. Like they're they're just attracted to you and they're like, I am so attractive and attracted and drawn to pile three and I just don't know why. Like there's no explanation and they may be on a spiritual journey. This may have sparked a spiritual awakening because they want to know why they're so intrigued by you. Like they just can't shake you. So let's jump into the tarot and get some additional information. I'm also getting a total eclipse of the heart with this card. Songs about vampires. A lot of uh, vampy energy with this group. I know when I was a kid, I wanted to marry Dracula. <laughs> Just a random fact about me. I, you know, I was, I, there was like the show when I was a kid. Um, if you guys are, I don't know if they had YTV and the states but in Canada here we had YTV and there was this show it was Dracula and I thought Dracula was just so hot so <laughs> okay what does group three's person find attractive about them You guys may even be seduct seductive and not even be aware of it. Okay, so we have Ace of Wands, we have Justice, we have the Tower. So Libra energy coming through, we have Mars energy. Ace of Wands, which is like fiery energy as well, so... You may have a lot of fire in your chart. Three of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Four of Wands, which that could also be considered like 1111 uh, type of energy. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Three of Wands. Okay. So we have a lot of balance energy coming through. So your person sees you as like um, equal. They they see you as like some sort of counterpart here. Like they were meant to. They were meant to meet you. They were meant to be in your life. They feel like you guys are meant to be. With all these, uh, like the justice, the two of pentacles, four of wands. This is all like balanced energy. And yes, we do have the tower, but I feel like they may not have been expecting you. And you just like came in and just came in like a hurricane. <laughs> And just completely shook up their life. And this may have sparked a spiritual, like I said, a spiritual awakening, maybe a dark night of the soul. They have a lot of fire and passion for you. And when, I just noticed, and I'm the one that <laughs> I'm the one that made these cards, but it does say soul contracts here with the three of cups, so 
they feel a deep connection with you, a lot of passion. And I feel like with that three of wands, they want to know what's next for this connection. I feel there, there is actually nothing specific about what they find attractive about you. Um, other than they may find you like seductive, but I feel like they're, they find you as a whole magnetic and they can't, they can't seem to shake you. Now we did have with that think of woman, they may find you intelligent and there's something like mysterious about you. And they also find that attractive. But yeah, I feel like this is just like somebody that feels like a deep soul connection. They don't necessarily know why. They're just attracted to you on every level. They can't seem to shake you. And I feel like they want to, they want you. They want like the whole package. Like, they just want you. They can't, they can't really imagine what life was like before you. And I feel like they don't want to. So let's get into some messages and see what they want to say to you. Yeah, I'm getting, I am getting like a, like, I can't seem to shake group three and I don't know why. So if you guys are on like some sort of spiritual journey and you are into like soul connections and soul contracts and soulmates, twin flames, whatever, uh, you may understand this, this feeling. You know, when you're like, so you feel drawn to somebody and you feel connected to them and you just, like you can't find the words. There's no way to describe it. You just have a feeling. That's what your person is feeling. It's not like, oh, they find your your hips attractive or your muscles or arms or whatever. They just find you everything everything about you there's not one specific thing that they find attractive they just they just find you attractive on every level it's easier to stay away than to get my heart broken i feel like yeah this came out in one of the other piles If we need to pull clarifiers for the messages, we will. You have no idea how easily you could break my heart. Okay, so your person's like really scared of getting their heart broken. I feel like they're so attracted to you that they are scared. They're scared of everything, like losing everything that they've built. But I feel like that has already happened that tower maybe they just won't admit it to themselves I will be back for you just be patient it's easier if I pretend I don't care oh we yeah. like this person's really trying to hide their feelings and attraction for you And I see you in my dreams. Okay, so we're going to get why they're so scared. Okay, they're scared of getting their heart broken. It's no more. Why are they scared to get their heart broken? I 
feel like this may just be an intense connection for them. That is what I'm getting so far. Like they weren't expecting you. They weren't expecting this. And bam, here you come. And it freaked them out. Three of Wands again. Nine of Cups. Okay. I'm getting two messages here. They're scared of the future. They don't know what the future is going to bring. So maybe your person may have like anxiety. They may um, deal with anxiety about the future. I'm also getting the sense that they, they are scared that if they keep moving forward with you and they keep, um, they might get lost in this connection and lose themselves and lose like, uh, their freedom because the nine of cups is like your like loving yourself and it's kind of like a single energy so they may be scared of if they continue to move forward with this connection and explore this connection um they'll lose whatever freedom <clears throat> uh what was the other message that i was getting There was another message and I just lost it. Oh, yes. I also get that they might be scared of having their ultimate happiness, <laughs> which may seem silly, but um, if you guys work with like manifestation and all that, um, have you ever been so close to your manifestation or you see your manifestation coming like that thing you've worked so hard for and wanted for so long and suddenly it's available to you and it kind of freaks you out it's like you've you've worked so hard for it you never actually imagined like there was a part of you that never actually imagined that you would have everything you've ever wanted and it, it scares you i get i get that with this person like it's not like they're scared you're going to be a disappointment. It's just that they may have, they feel so connected to you and they want you so bad and not in just a sexual way. Like they, they long for a deep connection here that it's available to them and that freaks them out because they, they may have longed for like a meaningful connection for so long. They never actually thought that it was going to be available to them, like unconditional love, true love, whatever it is, all of that. And it freaks them out. It's like, oh my God, it's available. It's like right here within reach. I can have it, but oh my God, what if it's, they may even be scared that they're going to mess it up. So take whatever scenario it may also be like a mixture of all three of those things that your person's working through, but uh, yeah, they're, they're scared. But they do feel a deep soul level connection with you. They're attracted to you and they just can't put a finger on why exactly they're attracted to you, but they're, they're attracted to you on, on all levels. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. I hope it resonated. Uh, be sure to give it a like or comment if it did. And if subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.